What's up guys, Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor and today we wanted to make this video about all of our camera, vlogging gear, our computer, everything that we use because believe it or not we get a lot of questions on this. So we're going to kind of go through each camera very quickly, tell you what we like about it, what we don't like about it, what we use for computer, what we use to edit, everything like that. Hopefully this answers a lot of your guys' questions. Like always, thanks for watching. the other half of Adventure Endeavor, the more attractive half. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and we're going to start by talking about our camera gear specifically and go from our least favorite items to our most favorite items in that order. So we have a GoPro Hero 7 that we have had for... We bought it when we were in Maine. Two and a half years. So we've had it for two and a half years. We bought it mm -hmm. new from, uh, I believe, a Best Buy. Yep. And when we first got it, we were stoked on it. We really liked it. But now it's become very glitchy. So the, the footage wise is great. When it works, it's great. We have no complaints. It's super stable. We did have an adapter. We had an external mic on it for a little while. We don't do that anymore. Now we just use it as an action camera. Mm -hmm. Underwater stuff is great, which is not always that great. You know, I mean, it's underwater, but <laughs> the glitchiness really bugs us. So it just won't turn on. It'll get what we call the black screen of death where it just freezes, but you can tell the screen is on and it's just black. And then just cycling through the buttons and stuff, it's just not amazing. Yeah, it's really cumbersome. They're great for like underwater shots, action shots, that kind of thing. But they're just so finicky and they don't always work quickly the way that you want them to. So you miss shots really often and yeah. it just gets super frustrating. Let's not even talk about the app that I can't get to hook up. So that's like another thing is the app. So yeah. we don't even use the app anymore. So we decided to upgrade to our DJI action camera so I don't know the exact name of it I think it's a DJI Osmo action which is basically a GoPro big difference is it costs about half the price so this was only $175 which is amazing I do believe the GoPro's video quality is slightly better but but this thing just works you turn it on you want a time-lapse you want a photo whatever you want it does like and you're talking this much difference in quality. I think that the GoPro is a little better in low light, but overall we are stoked on this and it does have a uh, dual screen, which is nice. So you can actually see yourself in the front or the back screen, which the GoPro doesn't. It yeah, only has it a has back, back screen. screen. It has a little front screen, but you can't see what you're actually shooting in your shot. So this is half the price and we love it and we highly recommend it. Two action cameras, we typically bring both of them. You know, if, if one dies, whatever, you could be switching back and forth, but we do prefer the Osmo Action. Now, I know you guys know that we're super sick drone pilots and we get all these great shots. <laughs> so we do all of our drone work with this bad boy right here. Good friends of ours, Rebecca and Jared, sold it to us, used. So we'll link their Instagram below. And this is a DJI Mavic Air, the original Mavic Air. It's pretty simple to use. You use your cell phone and then you use this controller here. The thing almost flies itself, which is great. I would like something a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Now that we have the Jeep and we want to do more chasing type scenes and stuff like that, this thing only goes about 30 miles per hour. You have to either speed up your footage, which sometimes doesn't look as well, or you're going to have to just go slower because the Jeep just unruns it, uh, outruns it. Battery life is okay. I mean, they're older batteries, so you know, you kind of get what you get with batteries. And the main thing that we really like with this one is it all fits in this little case. So you can see the size of it. Before we had a massive white DJI, I think Phantom Professional, and it had a huge backpack that you had to bring. It was like a hard case backpack. It was like Gen 1. We called it the tank. It was great if you want to do something sketchy because we didn't care about crashing it but we didn't bring it as much because it was just too dang big. So this thing has been awesome. Compare a giant turtle shell style backpack to this little 
tiny thing that you could fit probably in your back pocket. Oh yeah, really I do. I do actually. We have been really happy with the picture quality of our and performance of our DJI. So highly recommend this little drone. Okay, now we're gonna talk about our Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. This used to be our primary vlogging camera that we used for almost everything that wasn't a drone shot or an action camera shot. Yep. And we loved it. It has this like flip up screen that you can adjust. It's kind of nice. It works really well. It's It turns on very quickly, records very quickly. Those are all things that we loved about it. The thing that we didn't like is that the focus on it isn't that great. It was terrible. And I do want to say that there was an update. We did do the update and it still is not amazing. It's okay at times, but it just was very, very frustrating. You would do a shot and then you'd be like, wow, that was all blurry. Like awesome. Mm -hmm. We added this little bracket on the bottom. It's called a U-Rig. And then basically the bracket allowed us to add a cold shoe for a microphone. In our opinion, if you're doing anything outside, you almost always need an external mic. It just makes the quality of the audio so much better. And I mean, for me, because I edit a lot, it really bugs me out if there's bad audio. So that's a hands down for us. And then a lot of times when footage turns out to be blurry, like you can't even use it. Yeah. So it, it just becomes like wasted footage and wasted energy at that point. So I would say a few things that we do love about it as well are low light photos. So for astrophotography, we actually still use this camera. We like it a little bit more than our other one. And then just low light in general. Like if you're filming outside in the dark, this typically tends to be a lot better in my opinion than our other one. 90% of the time we're using our other camera that we're filming with right now. All right guys, so now we're filming with the Canon. So if the focus is bad, you'll understand. <laughs> this is our main camera now. This is the Sony ZV-1. We really like it. The image stabilization is freaking insane. It works so well. It has a flip out screen that you can also twist any direction. We kind of like the the Canon a little better, the flip up, but it, it was just getting used to. Now I feel like we're used to it, which is awesome. And it's just super compact, super light. This is actually Sony's microphone. So they make their own microphone. And what's really cool is that this camera comes with a cold shoe right here. So you can just put a mic directly on there and you can plug it into the audio port or you can get their mic that then doesn't require a cord which is awesome, it's yeah. just simple. So you're not in a situation where you have to get this extra mounted bracket to attach a cold shoe to the outside of the Canon like we showed you on the previous camera. Yes, and then it might be hard to tell, but we went ahead and added a extra lens, which is like a super wide. I forget what the company is, but basically they were on Amazon, they're I think $50, and it just allows you to see a lot more. Mm -hmm. And all it is is a ring that you stick on with double-sided tape, and then you stick the lens on, and then you can actually unscrew it if you want, and you don't want it, and you can just go back to a factory camera, and the little ring just stays on there. The reason that we got that external ring for the wide angle lens is that this camera actually, what they've done is made a really good vlogging camera with the, the focus that changes like very rapidly. But what they had to do is essentially dumb down the camera technology and crop the frame a little bit more. So it's hard to get like the full picture, but you just add this little external, you know, wide angle lens and it, it opens it up quite a bit. I would highly recommend the wide angle lens and of course the microphone. We're very happy with both. Yeah, I mean, that's about it on the Sony, but it's our go-to camera. That's where we bring almost everywhere. All right, so another piece of essential equipment, in my opinion, is a good tripod. I researched, we used to have Gorillapod, which are the ones that can grab on stuff like Casey Neistat uses. And to be honest, they're good when you first buy them. And then as all those little joints deteriorate, your camera's just constantly falling over. And we didn't find ourselves honestly using the grab feature that often. So research, research, research. We ended up finding what is called the shift pod. So it's actually a tripod made by YouTubers, which is great. It's super easy setup. But then what we absolutely love is that it's designed as a vlogging handle. So it has grips and it's super easy to go ahead and vlog. And then you can just flip it open and use it as a tripod. So I love 
this thing. It was a hundred bucks, which is kind of expensive, but honestly, I think it's been totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, it is all metal, so it's kind of heavy. So your arm might get tired after a little bit, but we absolutely love it. And it's super stable and we've had it for a couple years and it hasn't broken. So we are by no means professionals. Obviously, when you're creating, you have to just kind of go with your own style. Don't try to copy anyone. Just be yourself and just be proud and confident of like what you're creating. A few tips that, that we like is just shoot everything. Shoot as much as you can, when you can, but don't let it overtake the experience to where then you're not having fun at the activity that you're doing. So we both typically take an action camera and we both typically take a primary camera as we call them. We're basically both just kind of talking about and enjoying the moment and just turning the camera on. We don't shoot certain shots or anything like that. And we just shoot a lot and a lot of different angles. So when you're editing, you have tons and tons of options. Options are the freaking key. You can be like, oh, this doesn't work like here. And if you only have three or four shots that you, you set up and you thought those shots were gonna be perfect, and they're not and they don't work with the flow of the song or they don't work with the theme or whatever then you're like damn i don't have the shots i need so we like to just do anything and everything and just it's hard we put out a lot of content so we just do our best and we hope you guys like it so this is my typical workflow ever since we've been in this rig well not ever since since we've gotten these recliners i went ahead and i started sitting here because we have these nice handy dandy tables that are awesome and then i have a little clip-on table that I actually clip onto my leg, which is kind of funny, but it's great for my mouse and everything like that. I just have a cheap mouse pad, a cheap, like, uh, what is this called? Um, ergonomic mouse. Ergonomic mouse. And then I have my computer, and that's it. So I basically put all my files onto my computer, and then I start editing from here. Another tool that is extremely important is a good set of headphones. These are the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30. Q30. All this stuff will be linked in the description below in case you're curious of what we're actually using and if you wanna look at the specs. Once all the files are on the computer, which my computer is a Dell XPS 15, you know, basically we start editing. It's nothing fancy, but I would recommend always get as much memory and RAM that you can afford, to be honest. We spent a pretty penny on this computer, but it's three years, it's been doing extremely well, and I'm very happy with it, because when you start to get into those editing programs, you have multiple tabs open, you're doing multiple things, you're rendering video, you, you're gonna need some power for that. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very difficult to render video, and it's gonna take a long time. Programs might crash and stuff like that, so get what you can afford, in our opinion. So for editing, we wanted something that was very simple when we first started and we found that in power director i believe 17 is the model we have that's actually outdated now so far that's what we've been using for three years and it does everything we ask of it we don't we're not really big into super fancy transitions and stuff like that we just like to keep it simple and do more in camera transitions if possible um so power director has been good we do bait upgrading but a lot of the other programs are quite expensive if you have something you like that's inexpensive let us know we might be willing to check it out and then for music we actually use epidemic sound epidemic sound is great there's multiple ways that you can search for different types of music by genre by uh, beats per minute um, they have a lot of sound effects as well and we've been super happy with epidemic sound those are really the only programs we use. We do have Lightroom as well, which we use to edit some photos and stuff like that. But overall, that's all you really need. And you know, the cameras can add up, but the programs are fairly cheap. All right guys, so that's pretty much what we use to make our videos. And we think they come out pretty good. We have a lot of fun with it. So if there's anything we missed or anything you have questions about, please let us know in the comments. Like we said, we'll link all of these products in our Amazon store in case you're curious about specs or if you want to pick anything up. Thanks for watching.